All right, welcome back to the, the WCG National Finals here at New York Comic Con for World of Tanks. Uh, we just concluded the last round of the day, and Team Curse is going to go home with this victorious as the representative of uh, America in the WCG Grand Finals. So I have here with me Friction from Team Curse. He has been the battle leader today. Uh, so how were those matches, those last matches against uh, Band Angels? How were some of those? What were your thoughts going? What were the thoughts going through your head during, especially, especially that uh, that one that that Band Angels won? What what was going on there? What were your thought? What were the thoughts going through your head? Ruinberg, um, I thought we were really headed, but we got spotted from the 1390, and Six Sense went off, and we knew that they knew where we were, and we had separation. Right. So we figured they would collapse in on us right when we uh went to push in to collapse in on them and it ended up just being uh we got flanked instead of them getting flanked right and right and then so it looked like was it the t32 or pershing i'm not sure which got tracked at just the wrong spot and ended up facing into the air i'm not sure i mean i know in the heat of battle it may have been hard to notice that on ruinberg we didn't have a 32 or a pershing okay so it may maybe it was just an is3 and i just uh, yeah, it was I, probably an is3 it was yeah. probably just an is3 and just the angle made it odd um but that you know, that that track seemed like it was at just the wrong moment yeah, uh, we, on uh, the push. <laughs> yeah, we had uh, quite a bit of bad luck on the Ruinberg match, but overall they, they just played it better that round, and that's right. all they came down to. But then again, I mean, you guys went 3-1, to one, so definite props for that. I mean, I know against Band Angels that's not easy. Yeah, I would <laughs> consider them probably the second best team. Yeah, I mean, and and I think they proved that here today. Yeah. Uh, they proved that here today. They definitely gave you a run for your money, I think. They made you work for it. I think our first round was a little bit uh, a little bit harder. A little bit harder than Obviously, that last one. Obviously, since, you know, it was a yeah, little bit right. closer. Three but, to um, three to two versus three to one. It still came down to the fact that we were just getting comfortable for the day, and, I mean. Right. Right, and, and you guys, you know, you rode, you had that emotional high the whole day because you were yeah. winning, 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 so the morale was good, and I think you guys... Uh, which is definite props to you. You d didn't let that overpower you, so to speak, you know, and make some yeah. silly mistakes. Uh, but you use that to your advantage. You know, you you have that comfort that we've won, we're winning, we're on top, and you don't want to, you know, like I said, lose it and make a silly mistake because of it, which you didn't, uh, which is awesome. But you you were able to ride that out and you know take advantage of that. So that was. Yeah, we tried hard to um, not think about the score. Right. That's that can really go to you. Like the the first time we played Band Angels, we kind of were like, oh, we're two up, and we started to get excited, and then we and that's lost what two happened. Games. Yeah. <laughs> so it, it can change real fast. Um, I mean, the game looks slow when you um, you're watching it. Right. Because things don't happen quite as fast as normal first-person shooters, but right. when you're actually playing. Yeah, when you're playing, it's a whole fast. different. Yeah, it's yeah. a whole different story. Uh, I can vouch for you totally there. Yeah. When you're when you're playing, especially when you're when you're leading the battle, yeah. it's like, I just want to put a, I want to pause time for a moment. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I can tell everyone exactly what they need to do and then push play again because it's like, I only have two seconds to tell everyone what to do and it's not going to happen. I totally know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I figured you, 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 you understand that. Uh, so what, do you, what are you thinking going into the national finals? Uh, or the, sorry, the grand finals. What are you guys thinking about that? What, what do you expect to, to face there? Honestly, um, we came into this, we started studying what kind of what the Russian teams were doing. I was watching a lot of YouTube videos of what they had right, been doing, right. and that kind of helped me formulate what kind of strat I was going to be running. But instead of trying to copy what they did, we went with what people were comfortable playing. And right, okay. We'll probably look into that a little bit more to see how the strategy evolves, because the Russians are farther ahead than us. Right, right. And They've been so, playing for longer. Yeah. And, and so it makes more sense to do research and figure out what they're doing and then base what we're going to do on that, or at least what to expect. Right, and so far they have been uh, consistently the best teams, you know, internationally. Although uh, I have a feeling, I, I mean, at Ural Steel, Band Angels almost beat their red team. In fact, they were the only team to actually beat at all in any battle, beat uh, Team Red, which went all the way through. So I think, I have a feeling uh, once they find out that you guys beat Band Angels, they're probably going to be watching you very carefully. Yeah. Uh, team Red, you know, they they do their homework, and they'll be watching you very carefully because... Uh, I know they were afraid of Band Angels, which to make Red afraid of somebody, you know, that's no small feat. That's and, true. Uh, and so I think they'll be watching you very closely now to see how that happens. So be, I'll be very interested. I hope to get to see you guys play Red. Uh, yeah. 
in the grand final, I think that would be a, an amazing game to watch. I really like the double elimination format that this tournament came with. It gives, really you, a, thought, gives you a yeah. second chance. Yeah. yeah. It, it really lets you be comfortable with that first playthrough because you know you have that second chance right. to fall back. So, on. so it's not like you're out if you yeah. lose. Right. Yeah, yeah, I get you. Well, is there any shout outs or anything you want to give or otherwise? Um, shout out back to the guys on Forge and um, for my team. You guys really carried me through. I made some bad calls and. Um, you guys <laughs> just help pull things together. And they're make all sure standing that right look. here yeah, for they're everyone. All, they're all <laughs> a bunch of crap over here. So, uh, so again, congratulations to Team Curse for pulling off an excellent victory throughout the day, going undefeated overall through the rounds, and uh, a beautiful play. So thanks again for, for joining me, and again, congratulations to you guys for winning the national finals for WCG 2012. We'll see you in China. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks. All right. Thanks for tuning in.